All right, friends, today to start our final draft of our yearbook cover designs, we are going to be looking at our sketch that we did last week. If you were not here last week to do the sketch, just don't worry about it. You can just go ahead and start right here on your final draft and it will be fine. If you also need assistance in drawing, you may look at some of the worksheets at your desk for um, guided drawings on either how to draw a bulldog, school elements, and also how to spell some of these words. You will also see on this particular worksheet the rules, and the rules for this contest is you have to have the year somewhere in your design, 21 to 22, and it needs to have Woodlawn Elementary in it, or WES, so the name of our school and the year. So to get started on our final draft, you will have your sketch you did last week. And starting with a pencil, um, you are going to just start writing what you did last week. Now, because this is a bigger piece of paper, I need to draw it again, but larger. So I wanna fill up all of this Space on my large piece of paper. So looking at some of the things you did last week, incorporating that into your final design, just making it larger. It's like I did my hand last week. Draw my hand again, but I'm gonna draw it larger because this is a bigger piece of paper. And it looks like this is where I have W-E-S paw print and looks like I wrote the year down here and I did not have a paw print here but I think since I have some space over here I think I want to add one more paw print since I have some space now if you start doing your design on your final and you see something else that you wish to add then you can add that in your design in this part of the stage where we're working with pencil it's best to start with pencil once you have your design all laid out in pencil, then you can either take a Sharpie, a black crayon, or a black color pencil and do your tracing. I do have a few of these smaller black markers. Um, I might have two or three. But um, if you have really small details in your artwork, then this Sharpie is not going to be very good because um, it's just going to blur out some of your small details and make it all blend together and that's not going to be good. When you do start using Sharpie, make sure you have the messy mat underneath and with your Sharpie or your black color pencil, you are going to trace all of your pencil lines that you made. Don't leave any out. Even here, maybe you wanna make those bubble letters so you wanna go around instead. And that's okay too. I'm gonna make these look bubble letters. And then later I'll go back in and erase that. All with Sharpie. Make sure you got the year and the school name. Any quotes or letters that you wrote in pencil should be outlined in a black as well. Once you have everything outlined in a black, then you're gonna start in adding color. The way that I like to add color is I like to add color to all my other details first, and then I like to add color to the background. So think about your elements and your objects that are inside of your design and start adding color to them first. And then once all of those items are colored in, then you can think about a background color. There are several options for colors at your desk. You can either add color using a crayon, which is what I'm doing now. I personally like crayons because I think you can color faster. They give an even layer of color. And personally, you don't have to sharpen them and they never run out of ink. Now, there are also color pencils at your desk and you may choose to use those. I would suggest though for large areas of paper, large areas of white, like the background, I would probably not use a color pencil for the background. I would just use a crayon because it's gonna cover a lot easier. 
So finish adding color into your design. When you're done with all of the color, then show it to me, let me know, let me see your design, and I may have some feedback for you. So this is what our final product should look like. And as you can see, here are the transitions today. So you probably had something that looks like this, pencil, maybe you had some color added to it. Then we are gonna outline in a Sharpie and we are going to add color using crayons or color pencils. And here is what our final product should look like.